Hey guys, it is Tyler here, back once again with another Assassin's Creed video. This time I want to talk about, this is supposed to be a weekly ramble video, but I want to just do a complete, its own nicely edited video on it, which was, do I want Assassin's Creed multiplayer to return in Assassin's Creed Empire? And, I mean, my straight answer would probably be no, just for safety reasons. I would love the multiplayer to return at some point, but... I want them to take some time, make sure the single player is really, really well done and set for the next generation of Assassin's Creed games, and maybe bring it back in the next one. And I'll elaborate on that later on. First thing I guess I'll talk about was, what do I want from the multiplayer? What do I like about the multiplayer in the past? I love the competitive multiplayer. I thought it added a whole new element to Assassin's Creed. Because, you know, you finish the single player, you do all the 100% sync. Sure, that's awesome. To me, that's worth my money. And then, wait, oh, I've got a comp competitive multiplayer as well? That's awesome. I just loved that added element to it. It was just something else that I could play and sink my teeth into and play a lot of hours of it, which I did in, like, Revelations in 3. I played a shit ton of the multiplayer back then. I was really involved in the community then. Um, the multiplayer community, I should say. And all that sort of stuff, and I enjoyed that. I think it's a fun element, and I'd love to see it come back at some point. However, I don't think this is where Ubisoft's going to go with it. I thought in Unity the co-op was a great idea. I'd love to see the co-op done again. It just didn't work out well, particularly in Unity. It's not the concept being bad, it's the fact that Unity was badly made, especially on release. And the co-op was probably the most broken thing of the entire game to be completely honest, because every time I played the co-op, something fucked up and went wrong, and it was just ridiculous, and that's just not what I want to see. However, the way I see it going would be a, some sort of co-op element multiplayer MMO style thing that they've been doing with all their games. Ubisoft love multiplayer. They love putting multiplayer in their games, such as The Division, such as For Honor. Their priority is to create a multiplayer cooperative style experience for players and of course Assassin's Creed has to be primarily single player and I don't think that's what they're going to change but they're going to add a big cooperative element to it at some point in the future. Uh, I'd see them looking at something like GTA Online and trying to build some cooperative missions but you can join your friends in the open world and just free roam around and then go on to missions. I mean they tried to do that in Unity but it wasn't very streamlined and it wasn't very seamless as Alex Amancy I would say. It was really uh, structured and you know there wasn't much freedom to it is the right way to put it I think. It was just very uh, structured and very put in place. This is how it, you got to do it. Sure you can run around and just kill a bunch of people but other than that you have to do these missions in co-op. Where I think they'd be going for more of a free roam style thing where you can do any mission that's a side mission with your cooperative friend, as well as there's specific co-op missions you can do either with by yourself or with a friend. I'd say that's what they'd want to do in the future, and I guess something like Empire in Egypt, an open world game, that would be a great location for something like that. Don't get me wrong, it would be. As much as I would actually like to see a competitive multiplayer come back, I see them going in the cooperative route that they've been doing with their other games. Should they do this? I think in theory, yes, that's a great thing to have, and it would be fun to have, but will it work? And from past experience, it tells me, no, it would not. No, it would not work, because they haven't proven they can do it, and they haven't even proven they can pull off a really high-quality, modern-day, single-player game, and I think they should just focus on really revamping this n engine, focusing on how they're going to build these future Assassin's Creed games on these current generation of consoles with this new style. They've obviously taken a year off. They're going to it's going to be, you know, leaps and bounds ahead of Syndicate in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay. They're going to change a lot, I'd imagine. So in that vein, I'd want them to focus on really nailing down what they're doing with these Assassin's Creed games now in the single player. A modern day storyline, obviously a great narrative in the single player and the ancestor story, and how they're going to do the open world. And then they've got that structure. They can use that, they can build on that for the next games, but then add, they've got time, they've got money to add into multiplayer. I'd expect... I'd expect them to do, and I think I want them to do, what they did with Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood. They were building the multiplayer for Assassin's Creed 2. It wasn't ready. It, they had a reason story-wise to do a game like Brotherhood. And they built the multiplayer. Instead of putting it out with Assassin's Creed 2, they put it out with Brotherhood. It gave them an extra year to develop it. 
and they gave him another reason they already wanted to do another Ezio story. So they had two more reasons to do this Brotherhood game. And it came out with the multiplayer and they used that, they built upon that, but it didn't hugely change or develop, it just kind of grew uh, uh, from Brotherhood. And I think, sure, if you're developing it now for Empire, if it's not ready, don't even use the multiplayer, save it for the next game. Uh, use your time to build it and perfect it. And the reason I say this now is because if you spend all this time trying to make sure a multiplayer or a co-op is ready for Empire, it's going to take away from the single player, and it will, and people that ugh, just, and I've said this time and time again, people will say in the comments, oh, they could just pay a different team to do it, it won't even take away from the single player. Uh, first of all, you need to understand business and how businesses are run. Ubisoft has a very specific budget. They have a budget to make this Assassin's Creed game for. They could spend it all on single player, and then the single player will be what it is. But if they have this whole team that's developing the multiplayer, it does take away from the single player because there's less budget. They have to spend 30% of the budget, 50% of the budget, 60% of the budget, I don't know, on doing this co-op, on doing this multiplayer. That's a fact. That's how a business works. I've worked in business. I know how this shit runs in big businesses. There's a budget to every little detail that they work on. The marketing has a budget, the art team has a budget, this team has a budget, that's just how it works. If you have that set budget for the game and you do a multiplayer, that takes away from the budget of the single player. It has to, that's how it works. So there's no such thing as, just make another team, just make them do the multiplayer so it doesn't take away from the single player. That It's impossible, that's not how it works. It's just not how it works. So... I mean, obviously, there's a chance for them to be like, can we get a bigger budget for this multiplayer? But at the end of the day, when you're doing two huge elements and it's almost two different games, the budgets are going to crisscross and there's going to be issues and one's going to take away from the other. It's just a fact. Does it mean they can't do it? No. But it means for right now, let's focus on the single player. Let's focus on nailing down this open world RPG experience. Let's focus on working on this perfect narrative, both modern day, Ancestor, and keep building this multiplayer. I think they should be working on multiplayer right now in some sort of co-op experience and use it for the next game. So you're using two different games budgets or two different development cycles to build a really good co-op so that when these single players come out, they're what they need to be. But you've had all this extra time to make sure the multiplayer is also what it needs to be. I'm not against there being a multiplayer in Empire. I'm not against there being a co-op in Empire. But I think just for safety's sake, I just want the most important experience, which is the single player experience, to be nailed down and be what it is. And I say this because, and we all know this, right? Let's say Ubisoft think, let's just put some co-op element into it. Let's just put, like, think GTA Online, everyone can jump into each other's world, just do some free run stuff. It's not too hectic, they're not going to do too much. That's what they say at the start. We know Ubisoft guys. They would see that, and it's nothing against them, I'd probably do the same thing. They would get carried away with it. They'd be like, oh shit, we, we could do this, and we could do this, and all of a sudden they're spending all this time, all this money on developing this co-op and co-op experience. All of a sudden, from what an idea that wasn't going to take away from the single player, is all of a sudden having all these resources pummeled into it, because they're like, hang on, this could be the next thing of Assassin's Creed, it's all going to be this co-op experience, it's all going to be this online experience. And we're like, wait, fuck. What have you guys done? I thought you were just going to do this little thing they'd get carried away with it, spend all this money on it, and it's not what they planned it to be, and it's so much bigger, and then it did take away from the single player. I could just see that happening. I could really see that happening. So, I just want them to focus on the single player, not even concern themselves with the co-op and multiplayer, until maybe the next game. I think they should be right now working on a concept for bringing it back, because I think they need to have it at some point in the future, just of how the gaming world is going today, to be relevant, you need to have some sort of online co-op experience, I get it. But let's build the foundation to make sure your franchise is strong, and then you can build the multiplayer element on the back of that strong single-player franchise. They can do it, but I think there needs to be a better structure and a really thought-out plan of how and really why they need to be able to justify why they're doing it. And when it takes away from the single-player, which it always does, it always will in any game, is it worth it and is it going to take away from the single player in a way that's going to be really impactful or is it just going to mean there's a little less content or something like that but i say not for empire let's work on it still let's get it ready for the next game and let's make sure empire is the best single player experience and the best assassin's creed game we can make all right that's what i think of the multiplayer 
for the future of Assassin's Creed. Not just Empire. Empire I say no, but for the future I say yes. Let me know what you think in the comments below guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next Assassin's Creed video.